Okay. But, yeah, all right. Uh, uh, before we get into a philosophical argument over there, because I know of innumerable companies which say that they write one year in advance, they write six yeah. months in advance, but they get a stony silence uh, from the uh, government and uh, then they are in violation of the law when the date actually arrives. But uh, be that uh, 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 the case, uh, Mr. Sharma, uh, what I want to know is something more practical. From here up to yeah. the mining, how many days and how many portions, mm. permissions and from whom all? From environment ministry, central government, state government, what are the permissions needed and how long might it take? See, I mean, in the case of renewal, let me tell my friend on the other side that we apply at least two years before the lease expires and the state governments keep a stony silence. Uh, while when getting a mining lease, whether grant or renewal, uh, we, uh, we apply two years before mm. and after that we have to get the environment clearance which takes anywhere because then there is a public hearing, then there is uh, so many procedures involved. Uh, we, we apply to the central government, central government there is an environmental appraisal committee, it takes anyway between uh, two years to three years. Okay. Then Mr. we have Sharma, to apply another know, forest clear no, sir, area under forest. Yeah, Mr. Sharma, let's not get into that, that philosophical argument. What I'm asking is, is, in the case presented to us now, with the Supreme Court order coming, yeah. what are the uh, permissions needed, from which authorities and how long do you estimate? Well, uh, if the, actually to, to be very frank, Goa government is very poor, proactive to the industry, they should hurry up everything. Mm. Uh, probably we have to go to, we have to seek the environmental clearance. Okay. We have to seek the forest clearance if, uh, in, in the case of renewal or even if I apply for a fresh grant, we have to apply again for forest clearance, which, has to, which application has to be forwarded from the state government to the central government. Central government, there is a forest advisory committee. So if, uh, if, if, if every lease has to be grant, grant a fresh, then I think it may not start earlier before one year or two years if the state government is very proactive oh. and we follow up at the central level. So at least one year you think before the today. first ore is mined? Yes, yes. Many, one year uh, if I start getting the, uh, all the clearance, I will be lucky. Okay. Because uh, even for the grant of the money lease now, the state government has to get the permission for some central government because okay. it is scheduled one minus. Yeah, point I have again. to apply for uh, an environmental clearance, yeah. I have to apply for got it, got forest it. clearance. Got it, Mr. Shimon. So Shemma. minimum two years I think it will take. Okay, okay. This is looking worse than we thought. Uh, Mr. Acharya, yeah. you know, how do we interpret the Supreme Court order? Will it be pro rata for all the various mines in terms of how much of that 20 million tons they will get? See, right now what Supreme Court has uh, uh, given 20 million is uh, uh, ad hoc arrangement till, till the ex okay. uh, expert committee gives exactly what should be the capping, etc. Okay. Okay. So 20 million is a fair uh, fair uh, uh, quantity which Supreme Court has decided. In all, it's a very fair and reason reasonable develop uh, reasonable order passed in the, in the for the sustainable development of the state. Mm. So it's a very good judgment, basically. Okay. And uh, no, no, this, so this 20 million tons holds for a year. When will the committee come with the uh, final uh, number, you think? How much time? Committee is directed to uh, uh, submit its report within six months' time okay. from the order. Okay. So that could be higher or lower than 20? Yes, yes. Or it would be more likely higher? It's, I think it should be higher. Okay. Fair enough. So this applies only for the first twenty uh, first uh, six months. First six months, you can say. Okay. Now you know in uh, Karnataka, after being granted the go ahead by the uh, Supreme Court for thirty million tons, even after one year, they have reached barely twenty one, twenty two million tons. Uh, uh, Mr. Acharya, uh, why is this, and what may be the record in uh, Goa? See, first of all, uh, let's not compare apples with oranges. Karnataka is a different issue. Goa okay. is a very different issue. We are systematically, uh, as far as uh, mining is concerned, it's much more systematically uh, carried out in Goa okay. uh, from rest of the countries. Okay. So I, I, I don't want to comment on Karnataka and uh, Goa. So you as expect, far as yeah. Goa is concerned, we see that we expeditiously dispose of all the papers which, uh, which, uh, which are concerning uh, the mining in Goa. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Sharma, will any of this or I can come back for. Uh, yeah, Mr. Sharma. See, I can come back for Karnataka. Mm. I can come back for Karnataka. There, the government just is very lethargic. 
Okay. And the leases which have to be renewed, they can renew at their level, they are not renewing. Mm. The leases which have to be forwarded to central government under Forest Conservation Act, they are not forwarding. Mm. Actually, the Karnataka okay. government has to be proactive <coughs> no, no. to help yeah. the steel industry there. Point taken. So you're, you're, you agree with Mr. Acharya that yeah. things can be a little better in Goa and yeah. we don't have yes. to expect it yes. to follow yes. the uh, yes. Karnataka uh, trajectory. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I, ag I agree. Yeah. Mr. Sharma, how much of this uh, iron ore that is uh, mined in Goa and mined and lying can be used by domestic steel guys? Uh, we heard from the industry that the iron ore, the FE content is such that they don't need it much and that it's okay only for exports. Will the domestic steel industry benefit at all? No, if, if Karnataka is a um, uh, example, Not Karnataka, Goa, huh? the steel industry, uh, uh, no, yeah. the Karnataka, I'm trying, yeah, sorry. Karnataka has used iron ore as less as, as less as 50% and 55%. Okay. So if they want to use from Goa, they can use it, but probably there is a question of transportation and the cost of transportation and the logistic of transportation. It makes it more costly to transport it to probably Karnataka okay. than probably to export. So normally Goan iron ore has to be blended with, the, for example, the Chinese and the Japanese, they blend it with the Brazilian ore to get the best, uh, best out, best of the uh, thing. Okay. But in the case of, uh, you cannot blend it with the Indian iron ore okay. uh, to make it a, a proper feed. So you basically product. think that that will be more used for exports, even the companies will prefer to export more it? Used, yes. Uh, like yes, say, companies like so. SESA? I think so. Okay. I think so. All right. Uh, uh, do you think that uh, this 30 percent duty would be relaxed, uh, Mr. Acharya? Uh, that is a call which central government has to okay. take. I, I can't comment on that issue. All right. Uh, well, uh, uh, we have been we have been pleading for this. Okay. We have been pleading for the. Yeah, that of 30 percent duty. Fair enough. Now, just a final question on Odisha, Mr. Sharma. Now that Goa and Karnataka is uh, almost done and dusted uh, from a from a court standpoint, uh, when do you expect the verdict mm -hmm. from Odisha? Odisha is not a case of illegal mining. Okay. Odisha is based because the leases there are I by and large large people have worked within the lease area. There is a violation of the environmental limit, I agree, environment I agree. clearance limit. So volume is the main thing there, and but there is no illegal mining the way we are talking of Karnataka and probably Goa. All right. Uh, it is okay. a violation of the EC quantity, that's all. Okay. And there are provisions in the Environment Protection Act, uh, how this violation has so to be corrected. it might be resolved more quickly. Yes. All right. Fair enough. You'll have to leave it at that. But thank you very much for giving us a comprehensive understanding of where the government stands and where the industry stands uh, after this order from the Supreme Court. Well, it's a, a topic of great interest.